Hi everybody, this is We Fit Lover and I am coming at you live right now for the L'Oreal Paris Preference in the color Soft Black. So this is really exciting, this is the first hair color video uh, that I have ever done. I am a professional, I'm actually licensed cosmetologist, but I wanted to show people that you can just grab a box and you can go from the store, go pick it up, and if you're in a hurry and you do not have a professional card or you do not have a Sally Beauty Supply store near you, you can go to your nearest Walmart or Kroger or Giant Eagle or wherever you go to find this hair color and you can do it at home. It's, you know, a lot of people and a lot of professionals say that you can't use or they don't recommend you using this stuff because you never know what color is going to come out. And that is true to a certain degree. But if you're doing something where you just want to enrich the color that you have on your head, or if you're just looking for, you know, a, a slight enhancement, I would not recommend somebody to go to the store, like any drugstore or something, and try to go from this color to a level 10 or 11. <laughs> that would be a really bad idea. But if you are just looking to enhance the color that you have, maybe go up maybe two shades or go down two shades, great. What I'm looking for today on my head is to go from this level four to about a two or a three. And this is a soft black color. And the reason I chose this is because it's supposed to be a little less harsh than some of the other box dyes out there, as this shade guide is an espresso black color. And I have dark, dark kind of medium to dark brown hair right now. So I should be able to go off with as you can see, this shade here. So it's supposed to give it just like an enhancement and it does have vitamin E and it does come with the Color Care Supreme conditioner formula. And I really love L'Oreal's products because they've never failed me yet, so that's good. And I don't see a lot of reviews out there for this product, so I thought, thought well, why not, right? So I'm gonna intertwine some of the professional tips that I have for you and how to use box dye at the same time. So first off, you have your one bottle here, this is the Color Optimizing Cream, which is also called Developer. They give us 20 volume, meaning what it does is if you have slight gray, or if you need a, a little bit of a lift, say your hair is a shade darker than what you're choosing, then this is gonna uplift it one to three shades, depending on your preference, of course. If you're looking to go darker and you're wanting to, and you don't have a lot of grays and you're looking to penetrate your hair shaft, then you'd want to go with the 10 volume, okay? But this one, 20 volume, it's usually the standard for box dyes. Okay, so then what they do, they also give you your color. This is your color gel, which also in professional, they give you a tube of color. Um, and this is what, you know, comes, you put, you pour them together and the formula is what makes the colors go together. You would never want to just put this on your head. <laughs> it probably wouldn't even work. So these two things are essential to working together. So we have those two things. They also give you a pair of gloves, which these are really nice gloves for being box dye. These gloves are fantastic. They're almost professional grade. They are a lot lighter than what professional grade ones look like. They're a lot lighter, which is fine because you throw these away. Great, usually the professional ones you can reuse, you just wash them and dry them, sanitize them. This is your L'Oreal preference. They do give you this wonderful Care Supreme conditioner. Oh, best stuff in the world. So we're gonna go ahead and see what happens. Now with me, I have regrowth. Okay, I have a little bit, I have silver, as you can see. And so we're gonna start to show you how to part off your hair. So this is where the professional part comes in, okay? You're gonna take your clean comb, you're gonna comb through very gently because you are doing a chemical process. Then you're gonna find your ear, okay? And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the top of your ear, which is right here, okay? And so you're gonna draw a line from the top of wherever your part is. Now some people beg to differ that they like to go straight down and part their hair here. I kinda like it where, if I have a side part, I leave the side part. I'm weird, but professionally speaking, you could just completely go down the middle, or you can keep with your natural part, is what I do, because it's so much easier to deal with. And if you're in a hurry, who has time for that? So in order to get all your hair colored correctly, you draw a line 
that can take some time. I've been doing this for years though. So you take your hair and use a clip. You clip that there. You have all this rest of your hair. So what you do is like, like you'd be doing pigtails. You come down at the center again, down, like so. And if you're doing this yourself, this is how we roll, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect back here. You're gonna, you're gonna just put it on all over if you have shorter hair in the back anyway. So uh, what I do is I grab this. Professionally speaking, I shouldn't have put my comb down, but I did because it's my comb and it's on the sink. <laughs> and again, we're doing a at-home regimen. So there we go. So now we have that done. Okay, so then I do the same thing over here. I draw the line. And I tie up my hair, like so. Okay, and then I'm gonna twist this side. It's next. And uh, anything that you have on, make sure it's covered, like a watch, because you don't wanna get hair dyed on the watch. Um, this here, you just take off the cap first, which is this little piece to take it off, okay, first. Then I unscrew it because there's some air that could actually from the manufacturer processing, you want to hold this away from your face when you open this bottle. Because sometimes with air and with shipping, it could come out and it could hit you in the face. So you do not want that to happen because you have to go to a poison control or call them and be like, why is this in my eyes and what do I do? Next, we're going to open our preference number two. We're going to put it in preference number one. So this is your developer, this is your color. And to make the color happen, it's very runny at first, so you have to pour it all in there. There we go. You discard this, don't keep this, don't use it, don't drink out of it. So then you shake it. You put your finger over that hole. If you don't, you're gonna have a really messy bathroom that looks like something out of Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> if you've all seen that movie, you understand. And if you haven't, it's the one with Jim Carrey in it. It is hilarious. I'm not gonna mention Hershey bars. Would have put this by your face when you lift your finger off of this. So you wanna slowly Take your finger off of there and keep it away from your face, like you're holding a gun, okay? So you wanna start with your with your um, section here. You're gonna start here, and you're going to come through this way. And we're gonna just do this, okay? So then, now you'll need a mirror for this part, usually. Um, you take this part, I'm just gonna do it for you this way. I'm going to try to do it straight on so you can see this, but I don't know if you can see that. Get it right on to the part line. Okay, then what we're going to do is I'm going to take, not that you can see this because this part is kind of being weird. Okay, so you see how there's like a triangle section? Now you want to do one fourth partings throughout. Now mine might be thicker or not, I don't really care as I'm so used to doing this. So you just kind of come down this way, okay? You want to get all the way to the ends of the hair. What I do is I kind of take a swivel line, if you can see that, and you just kind of come through like a zigzag part like that with the color. And then I move my pieces this way, opposite from where it was ending, so you can pull all the pieces back when you're done. Now, I've been doing this for a long time. I part with my fingers, but if you have a hard time with that, you can part with this. You just draw a line, make sure it's thin enough where your hair is going to be penetrated with the color. And you just come through and make sure you get all your hair. I feel like this color is going to be really nice and rich. And you want to really make sure you get your ends because those are usually the lightest because the sun hits them a lot. And uh, this is for an uh, application if you just have like a little bit of regrowth and you're looking for an all over color change. If you were doing this as a regrowth thing only, you could just do your regrowth section where your hair grows out at. Okay, so you come through here. And I don't mind some box dyes. This one I like. There are some I do not. Some of them, are, they just do not come out at anything like what they say they're going to. But for something like this, I 
can sit can really work out. Now, if you have bleach blonde, bleach blonde hair, you're gonna need a protein filler before you go this dark. I can tell you that right now. But you're gonna have a very mousy brown color that's going to fade out within two washes, okay? Because your hair is very open, very porous. Let me show you what I'm doing back here too. I'm taking my hair, I'm just parting it like so. And I'm just turning it around in the mirror. And you can kind of start to get the feel of how to do it. And you just do this like that. I just run it through. And you'll get really good where you can go really fast. Ah, you'll probably make funny noises too. This color is beautiful already. Now don't be alarmed if your color on your head is darker than the results when you wash it off. The color has to oxidize in order for it to penetrate the hair shaft and then it sits on your head and it does get darker. That's just the way hair color looks if you're going darker. If you're going lighter or more vibrant, you might notice that it's more vibrant in the bowl. At the end, if your hair is really short, just take a bunch of color, honestly. Get in there, you know, just work it in. Don't forget your regrowth, just kind of do this. You don't want to irritate the scalp or scratch the scalp or brush the scalp. I don't believe in brushing through color as far as like, you don't want to take a comb and just start brushing through it. Don't do that. Very bad idea. You could break your hair. Break your hair ends and your hair shaft. All right, so then I take this and I twist it up like so. And what I do is I take this clip because it's on this side of my head and I clip it. Like so. Okay, so that way it's out of my way. Then we're gonna work on the other side. So we're gonna take this down. If you want to, I guess you could put this over here if you wanted to. It doesn't matter, really. So then what we wanna do is we wanna take, and again, and get closer here. <laughs> we can see me. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it on this side. of your regrowth. I'm going to do it on your partings. Okay, same with the back. Do this by feel because we're doing it ourselves. Just kind of pour it on there. And also, you know, draw a line. Just like you're in art class, you are gluing. Okay. I'm kind of stepping back so you can see it better. Okay, so I'm also going to do back here a little bit because you want to get behind your ear where you're gonna have regrowth right there that doesn't have that color on it, okay? So then make sure that your hair isn't nicely washed. Like, wait until you have to take a shower and then do this because that way your hair has natural oils in it and your color will come out a lot better. Your hair won't be as dry because it will be already ready for a wash and it just makes the hair look a little healthier. So then we do the same thing on this side, where you just take a little bit of hair. My hair is really thick, so I have to take a little bit heavier sections. I just come down like so, if you can see that. It's kind of hard, my lighting's interesting today. My bathroom's kind of small. So, I could only fit so many kinds of lights in this area. That, I mean, they're huge lights, but I don't think I've ever used the soft black in this one. I think I used L'Oreal's um, pink box for this. And I think I used like a different one of theirs when I did my hair in the start before. But I thought, you know what? It's getting into fall and winter here. I thought, well, let's, let's go a little darker. And as you've seen from my other videos, I was blonde, bleach blonde a few months ago. And, uh, but I've also been working with some protein fillers and stuff before going this dark, which is very important or you're not gonna have a darker color. You'll have a mousy brown color. It will be like, what did I do to my head? And if you ever have questions, you need to first consult a professional. Make sure they've known what they have been doing for a while before consulting. <laughs> Ask them how long they've been doing hair.
like so. I'm gonna work on this side. And my part's kinda interesting. I didn't really repart it, so we're just gonna go with it. Here we go. So you just take your dye, like so, you draw the line again, again here. And we're gonna rub that in a little bit. Don't rub too hard, just rub the color. So, okay. I also like doing this side just because if I'm doing it at the same time, why not? And it goes so fast that I don't worry about it. Okay, so this is fun. So then you're gonna find that triangle again up here at the point. See how it looks like a triangle when I section the hair? Okay, and then what I do is I just hold this and I draw all down like so. Okay, and then I'm just gonna come down like so. Okay. And up. And once we're parting, section off. There we go again. I just part with my fingers because I've been doing this a long time. penetrating the hair shaft. Okay, so this part, I do our last section. Front. And we're just gonna take this and draw them online. And again, I'm just gonna braid, finish that area. Now, if you are gray, they say to go one to two shades lighter than what you originally want because it does, uh, with the 20 volume that they give you in the box, um, it does lift and deposit at the same time. So you might end up with a little darker result if you do have gray or silver hair or lighter hair. That's one of the things it says on this box in particular. Make sure you always read what you're putting on your head, like what they say on the box before doing this. You know, it's really important because each formula, they could change the formulas to make it better for consumers. And then even if you had used the color for years, you want to make sure that nothing's changed. That's a good idea for the sake of your hair. Okay. Let's go on through again. Same thing. I kind of start that way. It's a little easier. And then I just pull it down, getting my ends. And I'll go back through at the end. And then do this here. One piece front. This is a pretty dark color. We're talking level three here. In the everyday world, I actually think this is a true level three so far. It looks like it to me as long as I've been doing hair and can I tell. So in universal color and professional colors, a three. I think the lowest you can get is a one, is the darkest, which is like darkest black. This is a natural black. So. I just wanted something really vivid. I wanted something a little different. And uh, my natural level hair color is a four. And they always say stick to one to two shades lighter or darker than your normal everyday shade of your natural shade. And it, you know, it gets kind of hairy when you start getting the grays because then you wonder, you know, well, what shade should I do now? And really, you know, it's based on your skin tone too. If you have olive skin tone, you can wear certain colors. And if you wear, if you have pink undertones, then you can wear other colors that people with olive skin tones might not be able to wear. That's another thing to take under consideration when you are, when you are choosing a hair color. Actually, this dye in particular uh, does stain. <laughs> <laughs> it does stain, so be careful and definitely get some petroleum jelly girl because this does stain, <laughs> as you can see. Now, color does remove color off of the skin, so you can take a little bit of dye, go back over it. I know that sounds weird, but it works. Okay, so just take a little bit of the hair dye and just rub it on the areas, a little bit of water on your rag, and go 
around. Make sure you don't get the hair where it's trying to process, but the areas where you don't want dye and you don't want a mustache and you don't want your hair to be all weird around the parameters or if you have somewhere to go tonight, then you want to make sure that you get all the parameters of the <laughs> Also your ears. And see a lot of times when I'm doing my hair with a medium brown to like a reddish color and it usually doesn't stain as bad. Depending on the brand of course, huh? Um, but this one is the first thing. You know what this means? This means that because it is sticking to my skin, this means it is really penetrating into the hair shaft. Meaning that your hair is going to look wonderful and it's probably not going to wash out as bad as if a hair color didn't do this. I know that sounds strange, but I'm kind of excited that it did this to my skin because now I know that this is going to be a lasting color. This is a permanent hair dye. I always use permanent hair dyes, especially because of the silver gray. Everybody's different and has their own preference. That's why it's called L'Oreal Superior Preference. But um, you will want to use an old rag if you're using rag. Now I definitely recommend using a paper towel. It's just as efficient and you can throw it away afterwards if you don't have an old rag. That's my advice. So we got all over my hair. We keep it on for 25 minutes. And then I'm going to rinse and then you don't want to shampoo. You want to condition with the conditioner that they gave you. We condition weekly. Usually I do this every few days when I wash my hair, I will use this because it's so good and my hair is usually really dry because I like to dye it a lot. So this is the L'Oreal Preference Level 3 Soft Black in Natural Daylight and it looks pretty good. I washed it once to get all the junk off of my scalp and it actually turned out pretty well. Um, it's not as harsh now as it was when I first did it. When I first did it, it was super, super cakey black. And now it's like this very, very, very dark brunette and more of like a really dark coffee color. And um, yeah, so that is my results for the hair color. And stay tuned for next time. Please subscribe and we will see you on the next review. Bye.